I'm good. Hello. Ayan, I'm using a ring light. Ay, wala. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Ang ganda ng lighting. So, ayan, since bad hair day ulit tayo ngayon, we'll be using my all-time favorite chef hat. Makikita niyo ba? Kasi ako hindi ko nakikita. What is up you guys? It's your boy Casey Gardo coming at you with another vlog and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Ang ingay ng pusa. Ming ming! So today as you can see, it's another nut cooking show. I want to give up a disclaimer. Ang ingay ng pusa! I want to give up a disclaimer. I am not that best of a chef. I'm not the best of a baker. So this is... Yung nakikita ko lang dito. So sinusunod ko lang. I had an experience naman sa baking, cooking, pero... Huwag niyo kaibash ko dyan. Okay? Gatay ko na. Before I start baking, if you guys are interested in food styling and food photography, the Kitchen Session by Kessler's Kitchen will be having a food styling and food photography workshop on August 31, 2019 sa Kessler's Kitchen mismo. Guys, kitchen nila from the pictures, missing from the pictures. It's so nice, I swear. It will be at 3rd floor Hamburg Trading Corp building Santa Rosa, Laguna. So, sa mga South people dyan, uh, bakers and food stylers and food photographers, I will put the description here and I will put the poster here. Yeah, so nakita niyo siya. So, if you guys are interested, please do not hesitate to contact me. Email me or just comment down below kung gusto niyo. So, I'd be glad to help you. And if you know this guy, you could also beep him up, message him. Yeah, yeah, si Sha. Ito. Ayan siya. If you know him, and you must close kayo sa kanya, ayaw niyo akong i-message. Siya na lang i-message. So, ayun. Food styling and food photography workshop, August 31, guys. Later, after this video, I will try to give you a glimpse of what I learned. Kasi nagkaroon din kami ng parang baking demo and food styling and food photography mini workshop last month. I can't remember the exact date, pero do. Mr. Jar Consenko, if I am pronouncing that right, sobrang galing niya. And siya yung magiging mentor niyo, pati si Miss Tina Concepcion Diaz. Siya naman yung food stylist. So, I will be showing you a quick glimpse of what happened last month. business nyo ay baking or photographer kayo ng food, I bet you will know a lot of things from them. Uh, Nag-prepare na ako, I did something that I learned from them. It's the miss and plus, miss and place. I don't know kung yun yung tamang pronunciation ng miss and place, miss and plus. Basta it's a French, it's a French term na it means to prepare everything even before you start. So, as you can see, I prepared everything na so, basically, ito lang yung mga ingredients na kailangan nyo. Tapos, it's just a one-step method. If I remember that correctly, that's the method. Yung kumbaga pagsasama-samahin lang, it's so easy to make. Here are the ingredients. So, this is the recipe from Making Masterclass, held last month. Uh, meron silang baking demo. This recipe is developed by Chef Julian Bernardo of Jacoba Cakes. Ayan. So, there are three recipes here, chocolate cupcake, chocolate cheesecake, and chocolate brownies. Lahat ng mga recipe na to, ang ginamit nila ay ang alkalized cocoa powder from Kessler's. Gagawin na lang natin yung simplest, yung chocolate brownies. Ayan. Note nga pala, lahat ng mga recipe dito ay dinoble ko since this is for 8x8 square baking pan. And masyadong malaki yung baking pan namin dito. 
So what we will be needing are 1 cup unsalted butter 6 ounces of chocolate 2 cups of sugar 1 and 1 third cup of all-purpose flour half cup of Kessler's alkalized cocoa powder 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract 4 large eggs last but not the least half teaspoon of salt ang ginamit kong salt ay pink Himalayan salt since wala akong 8x8 baking pan I think this is a 10x8 or 12x8. I'm not so sure. So, kung alam nyo, please comment down below kung anong size to. Let's start baking. We are now here in the kitchen. Now, what I did was preheat the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Ito yung baking pan. So, i-ano ko muna siya. Ipapatter ko. Kapag wala nga pala kayong ano, brush, patawag dito ako dito. Sa, ano, sa saging, sa puno ng saging, gaganitahin niya lang. Ipapatter ko lang siya ng slide. Kasi dapat nandiyo ba lang ba't na yung butter? Para... One of the lessons that I learned dun sa baking demo last time was it's better kung hindi direct sa heat yung pag-cook or yung pag-melt ng chocolate and butter. So what I did here is like get something like this. Tapos may water sa loob. Not really boiling, pero medyo mainit na siya. Tapos make sure daw na the boiling water is not touching the bottom of the pan. So hi! Kalipat na ako ng angle, ang init. So you could see what I'm doing in a better angle. What I'm going to do right now is don't forget say first melt butter and chocolate together in a medium saucepan so the butter butter and the chocolate I know this is not a very flattering angle pero you know what guys, don't be afraid to add more chocolate. But ako, what I will do is just put more bits and pieces sa ibabaw. So kapag kinagat niya siya, yung may mga bits kayong makukuha. Pag smooth na siya, Pwede nyo na siyang patayin. Pwede nyo na siyang alisin sa heat. So, dito po siya ipapatong. Pag tinanggal nyo na siya sa heat, you could add all the remaining ingredients niya. Yeah. Simple as that. Add lang kayo ng add ng ingredients. Now, I know there's a right way to add this. Bahala na. Flour muna, I think. No? Hindi ko alam. Egg, let's add the four eggs. So, lagay natin yung sugar, two cups of sugar, and two of them. Woo! Grabe, mga sales. Mm. Tapos, add the alkalized cocoa powder dark chocolate add na natin yung salt and last but not least 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract mix yun lang siya mix then you're good to go since okay na yung batter Ayan, medyo consistent na siya. Medyo. Lalagay pa ako ng more chocolate kasi mahilig talaga sa chocolate. Like a few ounces. Now we're going to put it here sa buttered pan with parchment paper. So, lalagay na natin siya dito. Ayan. 
Woo! Ready to bake! Ayan. So, ito na yung na-mix nating butter. Ito na, ito naglag siya. Ito na siya. So, hinipinigit natin siya at 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Bake it for 30 to 35 minutes. Aba, ingay ng pusa. to 13 minutes. Actually, mas maganda kung i-underbake nyo siya para medyo moist. Ayan. 25 minutes, we'll be right back. So, it has been 25 minutes. Wow. Moist. Grabe. Did you see it? Oh, it's so Wow, in it. What's this? Mmm. Ah. Di ako oi, pero ang sarap. Judgment time. So, ayun. I just did a quick photography and styling. So again, sa mga interesado sa inyo mag-join sa food styling and food photography workshop on August 31, please don't, don't hesitate to contact me. You might comment down below or email me or whatever. So ito na, yung final result ng brownies. So sige, tignan nyo. Sarap ba? Actually, meron na dito eh. Sarap ba, dita? Sarap. Actually, natikman ko na. Sarap siya. Like what I did, Pinunderbake ko siya, so it's moist sa loob. Hindi siya sobrang cracking sa taas. Diba? Sarap siya! Medyo matamis lang, pero yummy. Pwede na namang laruin yung pag nag-bake, diba? Pwede na namang laruin yung recipe niya. Pwede niyo buwasan ng sugar, pwede niyo buwasan ng chocolate if you want. 60 pesos sa subscribe sa Starbucks. Calories. So that is all for our vlog today. Thank you very much for watching our cooking vlog, our baking vlog. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, share this video to your friends, put your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, this is Casey Gardner. Excuse me. This is Casey Gardner, where your world meets mine. Bye! Let's see what's Ate Tess. Let's see what's Ate Tess. Ayan, nasi nasira na. Sarap? Mm. Sige na. Ito ang sarap. Puntahan natin ang kapatid ko dito. Hello! Ah, uh, interview mo si Pam. What can you say? What can you say, Tiffany? <coughs> Yummy? Yummy. Wow! Sino, hindi nagsisinungaling ang basa. Love it? Yeah. Wow! <laughs>